All right, so what I like to do then, once I've kind of picked out some, some keyword phrases or topics, what I like to do is, is really before I actually do the, the, the piece, before I record the content, um, I find that it, it helps to do it before you record the content, is, is to do a little bit of keyword research. And um, when I'm doing keyword research these days, folks, for my agency and in this context, um, I'm using vidIQ mostly, just being honest with you guys, for my keyword research. Um, I'm starting with YouTube, and then I'm kind of working backwards to Google, so to speak, um, for my keyword research process. So I find that if I can rank and I can do well in uh, YouTube, right, then chances are I'm going to do well uh, as well inside of Google.com. And so. I've been using keyword research. I've been using vidIQ a lot for this part of the keyword research. By all means, guys, it's a little different if you're going after like, we're trying to do content marketing for like a CBD company, right? Or like some hugely competitive um, niche, you know, you're, you're probably gonna need to take a couple deeper steps than this, so to speak. <clears throat> So um, what I'm looking for in vidIQ is I'm just looking at the competition score, okay? And ideally, I really want to start with the longer tail keywords that have a low competition score and have a good or high search volume. And vidIQ does a really good job, I think, of giving a good overall score, which tells me how attractive it is and the higher, the better. So you guys can't see this for shit. You see it on black screen. I'm sorry about that. So um, on the screen here, let's see if I can make this bigger. Can I resize it? Yeah, let me resize this just for this purpose. I'll give an example of an outlier here and of a, a keyword that I'm gonna go after um, for digital triggers just so you guys get some context around this about kind of the wins that you guys can find. So I put in a keyword, or I put in keyword, um, the keyword phrase, how to get social media clients. Take a look at these results, guys, and tell me what keyword phrase you think I should go after. Okay, again, look at the overall score and tell me what I should go after. I'm trying to see if I can make it even bigger for you guys. Sorry if you can't see it because I'm moving it. All right, I'll hold still, I promise. <clears throat> What's the outlier here? Greg Stillman's got it. Um, let's see, social media, nope. Guys, look at this. Only one person got this. Good job, Greg. So SMMA, and what I want to you guys to look at is this overall score right here. Okay, and I know it's hard to see. Overall score though, 88.24. Okay, look at the search volume, 405,000. And the competition score is only five. <laughs> it's got the lowest competition basically of almost any keywords on this page, right? And it has 405,000 searches a month. That's how we find the hidden gems, right? By all means, long-term guys, I'm gonna wanna go after every one of these keyword phrases, almost. Some of them are just too broad, right? Like, I don't wanna rank for Ty Lopez. Like, that doesn't matter, right? Um, even like for me at Digital Triggers, like, I, I don't wanna rank for social media marketing. It's just too broad for me, right? Um, do I wanna rank for social media marketing agency? Yes, because that shows that I got an entrepreneur there that wants to build an agency, I can help them. Okay, social media, I don't wanna rank for social media, are you kidding me? Like, no no thanks. 
Does that make sense? <laughs> are they really looking up MMA, but they mistyped it? No. So people are looking up SMMA, which stands for Social Media Marketing Agency. So let me put this back the way that it was. So we got some nice slides for the replay. There we go. So again, um, we're, we're primarily focusing on YouTube's KPIs. And if we can rank on YouTube often, then we're gonna rank organically often. And again, when we're doing keyword research, what we wanna go after and what we wanna find is lower competition, higher search volume, and we gotta make sure, right? And this is what I was talking about at the end, that there's an audience match, right? That obviously we're not going and we're talking about a different subject. Digital Triggers tries to help entrepreneurs like you guys build and scale a freelance business, an agency business. I don't wanna go rank for social media. There's no context there, okay? So I have an audience mismatch, okay? So for you guys, we're talking about today specifically, we're talking about your agency going after a niche. Well, if you find that you're doing research and the niche goes away, <laughs> right? Don't obviously go after that keyword phrase. Obvious enough, right? Give me a nine if that's blatantly obvious. All right, good stuff, good stuff. All right, um, do these stats come from vidIQ? Yep, Eric Dupree, that was a screenshot from vidIQ right here. And then, yeah, the same stats you can get from vidIQ.